Hey guys, today I've got another scrolly box and I'm super excited to see what's inside. So I'm gonna open it up right now. Let's open up the tissue paper. And inside, got a scrawler box sticker, a list of the supplies, some fizz whiz. This is the Wink of Luna brush. I actually destroyed my last one, so <laughs> lesson learned. <laughs> I will not destroy this one. This one looks like it's in the color metallic green. I think everything in here is, oh, what the? What on earth is this? Can you see the magic that is happening on the end of this pencil? <laughs> and it's like glittery and galaxy. Magic. I don't know how that's gonna work, but it looks cool. Maybe it'll work cool. So this looks like it's a box of a bunch of like metallic stuff. Dual metallic hybrid in blue plus metallic green. How can it be blue plus metallic green? <laughs> it's kind of hard to see because it's so reflective, but hopefully you're making that out. <laughs> Also in the box, eels. Same thing. This is violet plus metallic blue. Okay, so does it like write in two colors? I'm interested to know. <laughs> and then lastly, the last pen in here is the V5 High Tech Point Point Five. Woo! I think I have one of these in purple actually. It's basically just like a gel pen <clears throat> with pure liquid ink apparently. <laughs> All right, and then under the tissue paper. We have the print and some random cardboard. Okay. <laughs> There's a bunch of little bottles. Those are very, very cute. Those could be really cute charms or stickers. Cute. These are all drawn by Anne Carolyn. I don't know. <laughs> if you're interested in her work, there's her linkies. Oh, she has a YouTube. She does speed paints. Tricks. Ooh, checking her out. I don't think I have heard of her yet, so that's exciting. <laughs> And then underneath there, we have two different sheets of paper. This one got a little uh, bent up, but it's a little sad. <laughs> Poor guy, I don't know how. I guess the box is a little bent. That's unfortunate, but we have a black sheet that's in perfect condition. And if we take a look at the list of supplies. Oh, did they start doing that? They did not used to do that. Look, 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 look. Okay, but if you look right there. It says March 2018, so it's the March box. I live in the US and the Scrawler box is in the UK, so when I get the box, it's usually a little late. I finally feel like I'm not in the dark and I understand what's going on, so that's really, really cool. Okay, so this month's box has been taken inspiration from the mysterious and the magical. The selection of supplies included might not all be as they first appear. Strange shapes, magical patterns, and mysterious inks. Combine these supplies in your cauldron of creativity and produce a potion of pure art. <sighs> It's funny, like all the words in that description makes me think of Professor Snape, but I don't think he would come near anything this glitterly or beautiful. <laughs> and even the candy like fits into the theme. This is really fun. This is a cute box. Okay. And then on the back, the prompt word for this month is magic potions. I'm going to test out these supplies first and let's see what they look like. Um, but I'm kind of excited to see what they do because they don't seem very... They're all sort of out of the ordinary, which is really, really fun. I've, I've got a big smile on my face. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We'll use the messed up paper first for all our swatches. Although I do want to see what it looks like on the dark toned paper as well, so. This could be exciting. Let's use this guy first, because I need to redeem myself. <laughs> Mistakes were made last time. <laughs> okay, I believe you take off this ring. Then you just apply this, twist it in there. And then it works like a, like a watercolor brush. Oh, I can see it, it's coming. Green, that's actually a really pretty green. There we go, I got it. Oh, that is, ooh la la. It's kind of wet right now, but I think it'll look really cool when it dries. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It's kind of like my nails. My nails are all bubbly, I don't know. Do you know why nails get bubbly? Did I apply the layers too fast? It kind of looks cool, but it also looks warty. So yeah, if you have any tips on how to not get bubbly nails, leave them below. I really don't know much about makeup. This is the high tech point in 0.5. Okay, very smooth. As a motorcycle farts by. Okay, can you see now? <laughs> it just got way zoomed out. But yeah, this is the high tech pen. I really like that. I have one in purple, which is 
Who is this here? Yes, I know I did. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> if it exists, I own the purple version. I don't actually use it that much because, you know, when I really like a pen, I'm scared of using it. But yeah, that's what I think because it, no, it doesn't smudge. I don't remember why I don't use it. But yeah, these are really nice. This was a present from my friend. <gasps> Thank you, Renee. And now I have the black version. Very cool. Are they just pretty pens? <laughs> Maybe I'm just in a good mood. I don't know. Okay, let's try saving this guy for last. Next, I want to try the hybrid dual metallic in blue and metallic green, whatever that means. Okay, looks blue. Looks blue. Looks blue. I haven't used a good gel pen in forever. Do you see any magic happen? No, oh, it just kind of looks blue. There's like hints of green in there, but they're very few and far between this reminds me of elementary school <laughs> gel pens were the absolute bomb okay i guess we should try the purple one out next mm. how do i get it to do the blue thing what if i keep can you tell like when it shines it's blue that one shines it's green sort of it's kind of an interesting effect it's not like crazy out there but it's pretty and then lastly, the time has come. What does this do? I'm so worried I'm going to be disappointed because <laughs> it's so fun on the end. Well, oh, okay. That's not at all what I expected. You just drew like a highlighter color. And that was an orange. You go straight. Ooh. Ooh. Basically, anytime you rotate the pen, you're going to get a different color. That is so weird. <laughs> You do some really cool plaid. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. There you go. <laughs> That's so weird. I mean, that makes sense. Ooh. Do you see a squiggle? I also think I just noticed there's glitter in it. Is there glitter in that? Mmm. I think there's glitter in that. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the texture of the pencil. I don't know how you use that in a practical scenario. But I could probably just sit here doodling for a while. <laughs> okay, so we have this pencil, this purple one, this pink one, this big green one, and this black one, and some fizzy candy. And together, we have to use those pieces and see what we can make. I do want to... I used a lot of this paper. But <laughs> I do want to see what this stuff looks like on the, the toned paper. So if we can try and stick to just like a little corner here and see like the purple... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait a minute. Is that the same color? I don't know. That looks bluer to me than that, but that could be wrong. Let's try the blue one. Hmm. Kind of green. Looks like I drew glasses. Look. The black's probably not going to show up at all. In a little bit. And then the Wink of Luna brush. Okay, that shows up. That's nice. That's pretty. And then lastly, this funny magic pencil. Yeah, that shows up pretty good too. How cool is that? Yeah, I have no idea what to do with this. <laughs> I'm at a loss. I can't stop doing using this weird pencil. <laughs> it's so weird, especially if you like rotate it while you're moving. You get like this crazy line. I just want to draw some blub fish. A blub fish. I can just draw one right here and see what happens. Should I zoom in? They have two fins, a big circular head, and two big circular eyes, usually kind of cross eyed or wobbly. And then sometimes they're smiling, sometimes they're. Oh, that looks, that's really showing up on camera. I cannot barely see that, but I can see it when I look up there. Let's just test these things out, see what we can get. Cause I don't really know what I'm doing. Do a back fin. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Ended up being two different colors. It's very interesting. <laughs> Cause he had some bu bubbles. Some bubbles. It's kind of interesting every time I put down the pencil, it's a different color. <laughs> Should we color them in maybe? I kind of lost his mouth in there. Mouth, where'd you go? Did we get it? Did we get a mouth back? Yeah, we did. Should I risk it and try to color the eyes a different color than the body, or do you think it'll all look the same? 
Give him a chubby cheek. He looks so concerned. Look how cute he is. Why don't we go over with the... I think this one was green. The blue-green. <laughs> How's that look? How's that look? Kind of non-existent. You can outline him in this. Oh, how did that thing get so big? What happened? What happened? Can we go back? Can I, can I redo that? Okay, how does this look? Oh, I like that metallic. That is really pretty. Kind of looks better on camera than in real life. Like in real life, I have to go like this to see it. But you guys are getting like a perfect reflection. I'm not trying to do the eyes. I really don't like the eyes being black. It's a little demonic. What do I have? This is the lightest color up there. We could try it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think that helps. Definitely looks different now, but does it look better? Well, you have a lot of control over the width of this brush. That's really nice. So I can have like little dots, scaly dots. He's like a glow-in-the-dark blobfish. Oh, what if I made him an anglerfish? Mmm, an angler blobfish. You know what one of those are? Those are those like <clears throat> fishies with like the little lights on the end? That could be really, really cute. Use the black and try to make the eyes darker. Eyeballs. <laughs> little blobfish. And it has this big long thingy with a light on the end. Oh, that'd be so funny if he's like looking at it. That's why he's cross-eyed. I don't know if you can tell. Does that look cross-eyed? This looks like several things I've seen in, I think, a movie or two. <laughs> but I can't place it. What is that? Doesn't that look like something? I don't know. Okay. So now from what I've learned from that, what do we want to do to this? I kind of don't mind his eyes being black, because maybe he's like, you know, an evil fish that eats other fishies. <laughs> so maybe I'll color him in in this. All right, let's fill that in. See what happens. See what happens. Color it over a tooth. Oops. Did I manage to mess this one up too? This was supposed to be my redemption story, but I think I broke this one too. And I squeeze it like the juice comes out of the wrong place. Is that where it's supposed to come out? Cause it's not going down to the brush. It comes out way high. That's the same thing my last one did. And then see the brush is dry, but it's all goopy up there. Why world? Oh, it's got that base layer of the really bright green down. Kinda want that to be a different color. But we don't have a lot of options, so I guess we're going in with this thing. <laughs> When you mix them all together, it kind of looks like barf. And maybe the fin up on the top, whatever that's called. Are there any angler experts that know what this thing's called? Because I don't. I don't know. It's kind of bothering me the whole way. How's that look? How does this look? I think I want to use this and outline his finnies. I think I made him too bright. He doesn't really look like a dark underwater <laughs> anglerfish. Because it needs a little bit more of this. Okay. Ooh, that dried really quickly. Getting it all over me. I always get stuff right there. Did anyone else do that? It's always there. It's actually a little bit of a callus there, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Had some funny scale circles. Ooh, that looks very blue. <laughs> that pupil made all the difference. It looks so silly now. <laughs> I love it. Do, 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 do. I feel like the colors don't go that well together. They're like kind of mismatchy. What they should have included was some kind of white pen. That would have been awesome. You can draw a little blobfish staring at it. I 
that end of them because of the light and then the rest of them will be this color looks just like a little blob a little blob huh. it's funny that you should say that is there anything we didn't use i don't think we used this purple oh no the purple is what i just used for that let's use some blue which should be green right mm -hmm. <laughs> bubbles when in doubt is that draw bubbles yeah these things are really really fun for like doodling and stuff but when i'm trying to like actually sit down and do anything in particular it's not quite as cool but these would be like so much fun for like writing little notes to your friends <gasps> oh, what if i wrote you guys a little note Ooh. dear friend thank you for being you i mean it now i'm gonna switch pens use another one if it weren't for you i'm not sure i'd be the me i am today lots of huggles your friend waffles <laughs> i'm just gonna draw tons of freaking hearts everywhere because that's how i feel i don't know if you can read it from there but here you go dear friends thank you for being you i mean it if it weren't for you, I'm not sure I'd be the me I am today. Lots of huggles. Your friend, Waffles. Uh -huh. I kind of want to sign my name with this one, though. That looks really cool out of focus. Oh, shoot. Uh, why? Why do I do this to myself? I want to sign it, though. This is kind of the standout product for toned paper. When it comes to writing on white paper, I really like the gel pens. This on dark paper, though, <laughs> it's beautiful. I like the way it dries. I like the color of it. And you have like a lot of control because it's a brush pen, so you can do thin strokes and thick strokes. So this was definitely a standout product, except that I think I broke it again. <laughs> this was just crazy and fun and it made me happy, but it's kind of a little bit of a gimmick. Uh, this is practical. I will be using that again, even though it didn't work very well for anything here. So that was kind of interesting. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, it's a nice pen. And then this and this are both very nice gel pens that I think I'll be using the purple on white because I really like that purple color. Um, but yeah, again, tone paper, maybe not so much. Yeah, this was really fun to just kind of like go through and play around with stuff, you know, not take anything too seriously. That was really fun. Um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed I wasn't able to make something really, really cool, but I don't know, it was a lot of fun. And yeah, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're interested in checking out Scrawlbox, I'll have a link in the description where you can pick up your own subscription box of monthly art supplies. Um, yeah, till next time, thank you guys for watching. And I mean this, okay. <laughs> I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye. This thing just makes me smile. I wanna like just go give it to someone see what they do with it. <laughs> I like the way it reflects. Ooh. It's kind of cool. I really just kind of like, I'm not like drawing anything in particular, but I just kind of enjoy swooshing around with this. It's probably good exercise, good for my wrists, because I do have difficulty um, with like brush pens because sometimes I just push too hard all the time. So you gotta learn to draw lightly. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Kind of making a mess, but it's so much fun. <laughs> it's super.